so guys you're welcome back to my channel this is the part two of the part one where i gave a preamble about step-by-step -step application so this is my browser and the first thing i'll be typing is chevening.org right so i'll be applying for the scholarship with you and so for a first time i click on about open a new tab click on scholarships open a new tab i'll click on areas of impact and all this when it's time for me to write my essays right however as a first timer i went through this i went through this i went through areas of impact right before i clicked on apply came down you know I read about everything I found here read the news and all you see the beautiful people and the things that they are doing in Chevening so they about us you read through tells you what Chevening is the impacts over the years and all that good stuff when you come to scholarship you'd find who can apply you can open it in a new tab application timeline in a new tab you have guidance in a new tab find the course in a new tab why study in the uk in a new tab and so this was basically what i did right so who can apply you go through it well see there is no such thing as a typical chevening score see the eligibility your work experience requirements you know all these things are things that you would comb or you should comb on your own application timeline tells us where we are so application started in on the 3rd of August will be ending 2nd of November and there is an application guidance that you should access so by this time applications are closed 3rd of November they are sifted against eligibility mid-November um, within committee assessment February you have applicants being shortlisted and then February to late April you should upload your references and education documents so you don't even need to upload all these documents when you are applying right you can read here for directions for your references I personally sent this link to my references so for the two people I, I asked to be my referees I copied this link and um, so I literally opened it and then I copied the information there. I copied the information there to them in the email so that they know what Chevening actually wants. So by um, early June, you should get a result. So I'll close that application. So this is for the reference. This is information for the reference. Tells you who can be a referee and all. Please access it as well. Now this guidance shows you what you should do. Operation is key, blah 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 to help you. This is their guidelines. Their terms and conditions that you should read. Finding the right courses. I think this is where people have been having issues. So you have finding the right courses. So I what this is what I did now you want to search by course so for me for instance i want to do manufacturing engineering i'm going to type manufacturing right and i click search so i'm not searching by region i'm searching this course i want to see which schools are going to show me this course it says can't find your course Oh, that is, it actually found something. So you see, so these are the courses that 
Shevening will be sponsoring in these universities. So you see, these are the courses related to what I put there. Industrial systems, manufacturing management. So I applied to Cardiff last year. I got the admission. And this is manufacturing, no. I applied to Cranfield as well, I got the admission. I applied to Derby, I got the admission. Uh, yeah, I applied to Kingston, got the admission as well. I wanted to apply to Liverpool, I think I was tired by then. I also wanted to apply to Nottingham, but um, he had, um, I had to pay application fees and there was no waiver, so I left it out. Applied to Strathclyde, got the admission, applied to Warwick, and that's where I'll be going to. So you see different courses. Applied to Love Barrel as well. So this was how I did mine, and so I just started selecting schools to apply to. You see the page two, you see courses that are related. Now you click on it, you read about it and check the models and see if they are models that you want. So if it's not manufacturing you want, you want public health. You just come here and type public health. Wow, so many schools. And you're going to see a lot of schools and courses. That you should research one after the other right and then you just go through it and then apply in the school now this is an expo like i said why study in the uk so there are different reasons on the website why you should study in the uk in your free time read about it and you can also coin some parts of your essay from it so let's go right into applying application so I'm going to click on apply. Uh, uh, find the words. So I'm going to be using Nigeria as my reference. If you have, um, I'm going to use scholarship because the scholarship I'm applying for fellowship is for those who have had scholarship previously. Choose your own country. For me, I'm referencing I mean Nigerian, so I'm going to use Nigeria. So when you click on Nigeria, it tells you it doesn't matter where you're from, it's where you're going to the counts narrates everything tells you about sharing a scholarship here you find your required documents so all applicants must submit their documents references and one conditional and one unconditional uk offer the deadlines for these required documents are given use update my application button above to upload them if you are considered selected for the sharing scholarship extension that you submit these documents in order to remain in the process All right, so you find all this you can also click on guidance, click on references and you know information for interviews. So I'll go ahead and click on apply again. So there's a pop up. Takes me to smart simple. My internet is not playing with me. Okay. So I'm going to click in an email. I'm sure you already have an email. Yeah. 
Let's use a password. Right? Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to register. Not logging. Because it's a fresh application. Don't save, accept policies. So I'm going to register uh, Miss No, first name. So I'm just going to be registering anyhow. And uh, let me see. No, so I'm going to use this email. Okay. You have to use a, an email that is accessible because they will send you a confirmation mail. Right? Additional email, none. Telephone number. Then it puts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright, let me see what the people like to do in event level. <laughs> and first, let me do Elisha Nigeria. I'm just typing anything. Well, I accepted everything here. If I don't just doing it so that Nigeria. Yeah, let me put somewhere that is like Lagos. Ten, twelve, eighteen. And use Lagos. So I'm going to use Lagos and let's submit and see. I uh, hope it submits. registration complete so I'm going to go to the mail right so I'm going to access the email it says logging here so it's going to ask you to activate the account which I've done I'm doing it behind closed doors I'm doing it on another system activating the account so after activating it you come here and log in So during the activation, it's going to ask you for a new password. Uh. So, um, I've saved my password. So now what I'm going to do is log in.
it's asking me to save well i can choose to save you can choose to save if the laptop is yours so leads me to this page where it says your preferred title so i put my name my last name no no stuff like that telephone number obviously all these things i put are wrong you're supposed to put the correct one nigeria um, pro lagos um, put the wrong phone number just put the date of birth I obviously cannot remember. Mm. I just put 1980 something. I I don't know if he asked me for. Oh. Mm. Okay, he's asking me for to repeat it. Can I remember what I put? Nineteen. So I've done a step by step now for all of you. What did I put in nine? Mm. I think I'm supposed to put twenty four. Okay, make it to six. Yeah. Each. Nigeria. So this is actually for. Then I click save. Let's see how many years I am. <laughs> uh, I'm oh, I, I I did the wrong thing. Okay. That's why he asked me to come back because apparently it's not correct. Um, obviously, I was born 1998. That's about 24 years because I was born there. So I think if I was born 1998, then I'm, I'm 24. Oh, I'm doing a lot of things wrong. Though. So, do you hold that citizenship? No. Country of birth, Nigeria. Nigeria. Okay, Lagos. I was because I was born in Lagos, obviously. I'm not. Why is this? Uh, okay, so I said I'm 22. Oh, so I'm a young girl. Okay, save it.
here. So let me validate it. Internet is not friendly today, and I do not know why. So guys, after registering, um, it took me a while. At first, it was showing me an error that the uh, user locked. I think they were trying to validate um, the information I put there, and um, so I got to this stage, right? So after validation, we click on. Let me open it for you. You click on it. This is what you see once you log in. This is a page you would see. Um, there's none in progress now. I've not submitted any application. So the next place to click is available. Open our words. After clicking this, this page is going to open, right? And then you scroll down. You're going to be seeing. A Chevening scholarship. So I'm going to click on apply. So the next part is the eligibility questionnaire. Are you a citizen of a German eligible country? Yes. Will you return to the country or territory to which you're applying for a German award? Yes. Do you have an undergraduate degree that will be? Yes. Do you have minimum of? Two years work experience, yes. Are you at least 18 years? Yes. If you have completed your undergraduate degree, I, I've already completed mine. Are you applying for a scholarship for a course for study commencing in UK autumn 2022? So, this is what I'm talking about. Autumn is between um, September, October. That's why I said, um, Chevening only sponsors courses that start within this period. So, yes. So we are going to be applying for a January intake. Um, Chevrolet doesn't sponsor January intakes. Submit. Let's see if I will be eligible.
I observed that the website is unusually slow. Um, I don't know why, but be my internet. Be my internet. <laughs> 